Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Unboxing. Today we're going to have a very special episode. This is going to be something that some of you may be familiar with, some may not. But this is going to be for the Oakley Over the Tops. Now this is going to be extra special because, well, you can see we've already opened the box. But that's not really the point of this video. This point is going to be to illustrate how to properly pack a package, particularly the Over the Top, Oakley Over the Top sunglasses, and then how not to package Over the Top sunglasses. What do I mean by that? Well, I ordered two pair. Now you're gonna say, why did you order two pair? Well, because the first pair arrived defective. Not only that, but they didn't properly package the first pair. That's why we're gonna show you how not to package them. And they're actually right here. So for those of you who are familiar with over-the-top sunglasses, you know this is an iconic pair that we'll never see again, anything ever like it, because unfortunately, Luxottica has destroyed Oakley, for the most part. But these are about 20 years old, roughly, and this is, of course, the original box that they came in. So this is how not to pack a pair of Oakley over-the-tops and mail them through the mail. And you can see what the sender decided to do. They thought it was a good idea to just slap shipping labels and packing tape right over the box. You get this assistant? You getting this? Mm -hmm. My camera assistant's getting this. Okay. So you can see they just taped this whole thing up. They put packing labels all over the place. And obviously the original box has been destroyed. And of course this is a collector's item. This box is 20 years old, roughly. So this is how not to package them. Wow, I can't even open this thing up. But I did open it. And inside, they've got the glasses. They've got the microfiber bag to cover the lenses, which is nice. Now, here's the problem with these. So for those of you who are familiar with the over-the-top sunglasses, which some of you may be, if you look in the center here, if you look close, can you zoom in on that and can you get a good angle? There's, it's actually warped. And we'll show you in a minute here because I got another brand new pair in the other box that hasn't been even opened yet. So the lenses are beautiful though. The lenses are a very deep red color, fire orange. But these are very, very deep orange. They're almost like a ruby, but they're fire. So this is the first pair. We're just going to set these down here for now. Okay. Microfiber bag. Be careful that those don't fall. So this is how to properly package when you're gonna send something as nice as these, this is how to properly package this. So it's inside of a nice sturdy box, FedEx packed it apparently, which is fine. You open it up, and we're gonna show you here, get a zoom in, here we go. So we've got bubble wrap, we've got bubble, yep, we've got some other uh, packing materials, and there it is, it's inside, safe and secure, with packing materials surrounding it. So this is how Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you properly package a pair of over-the-tops. You don't slap tape and shipping label all over the place like these other chachos did. Obviously, I have no idea what they were thinking or if they were even thinking at all. This is how you do it. So this pair here, we're going to open it. I haven't, I haven't taken them out yet because I was saving that for the video. So here we go. So as you can see, come on, assistant. Let's check it out. They took the extra care to actually package them in bubble wrap and secure the glasses on top of protecting the box, which is a nice touch. I appreciate that. As a collector, and if you're a collector, you'll appreciate it. I appreciated it. So I haven't unwrapped these yet, but now unfortunately this pair, and I already contacted the seller prior to making the purchase, uh, this pair did not have the microfiber bag. By the way, this abomination over here is going to be sent back to the seller and I'm getting a refund. So uh, I'm not going to accept this box like this for one. And for two, the glasses have manufacturer's defect, which was never disclosed in the auction. But this pair should be good. And you know what? This thing is so well wrapped. I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to grab a scissors or I'm going to have my lovely assistant hand me a pair of scissors. Thank you. So here's, we're going to un unpackage these here right now. Just gotta be careful, I don't wanna mess these up. Okay. So, I guess we have no choice. I guess it's gonna have to be okay. All right, so, 
Here's this pair. We'll see what we got here. And again, I haven't opened these yet. Now there's a little smudge on the lens. It may be hard to get on the, on the video there, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. Now the lenses overall look pretty decent. Oh, you know what? I see some scratches on the lenses. I see scratches on the lenses. Yeah, this is not good. This was not disclosed in the auction. I see some small scratches on the lenses here. Anyway, you can see the nose bridge. Here's the difference. The nose bridge here, and then the nose bridge to compare. If you look at both of them, you can see the one in my left hand here, the one on the left, the nose bridge is crooked, it's warped. You can see, you know, it's almost a little bit deformed. And the one on the right is not, it's smooth, okay? So that's the difference, that's the issue. You can also see the difference in the lenses. Remember I said these lenses are beautiful, look at how deep red they are. And then look at the lenses here. They're a lot lighter, they're more of an orange color. Which is fine, it's just the way the lenses came out. But this warping in the center here by the nose bridge, that's not supposed to be there. As you can see, it's supposed to look like this. So this pair for sure is going back. This pair, uh, yeah, this was described as new, never worn. And they are, they have some slight scratches on the lenses. I can see at the angle from the lighting, I can see some slight scratching there. So that's a little bit of an issue. But ladies and gentlemen, at least you can see, this is the difference. This is how not to pack a pair of over the tops. This is how to properly package a pair of over the tops to protect the original collector's box and protect the glasses, even though it looks like they do have some slight scratches. Thank you so much. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave some comments below. Tell us how we did.